What is up, guys? It's your boy Andy Arts, and uh, today we are going to be messing around with 3D models. Now, um, some people say that using 3D models is cheating, but I mean, you still have to know anatomy, you still have to know how to draw, you still have to, you know, make sure you do good uh, art, line art. You still have to make sure of a lot of things, even if you're using 3D models. So yeah, it is a bit of a shortcut. It does help you like draw a little faster, but that is no excuse to not learn anatomy, <laughs> you know? Like, um, yeah, so there's no, you know, this is not a replacement for actually learning anatomy. So I want, I want you people to keep that in mind. Uh, and I have used this for drawing several times, especially when uh, somebody hires me to do some commissions, to do some concept art. It does help, you know, work a little faster, but you know, gotta know your anatomy. You still have to be an artist. There's no replacements. But anyways, so I'm gonna show you how to add weapons to a character because there are a lot of tutorials out there on how to use 3D models, but I've been looking for a tutorial on how to add a weapon to a 3D model. So that's what we're gonna teach you today. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here to my uh, poses on the right side, if you guys can see that. So we're gonna choose a pose, right? And we're gonna choose this babe right here. Okay, so we're using the male figure. I'm gonna change it to female. Change it to female. And actually, so let me start over. I wanna use a different body type. So I wanna use this body type, this more of a curvy type, and then uh, I wanna change to this pose. There we go. Right, so you can actually, you don't always have to use the same body type, you can get different body types and then change the pose by, you know, using the settings here in, in Clip Studio. It's so right here, the little icon, right? You can go ahead and use the models. We got our model, we got our pose, and let's go ahead and search for our weapon, which is, I'm gonna use this staff here. Right, so we have our girl here, we have our staff. And uh, what we're going to do here, now that we have our 3D model, we have our weapon, go over to the left, right, to the property tool object, or depending on where you have it, left or right. So we're going to go over to uh, the left. So once you have your 3D mod through the item selected, you should be able to see the tool property object. And you're going to click on this little wrench right at the bottom right corner of that window, the little wrench right here. I'm going to zoom in here. Another window is going to pop out. Right. And on that window, you're going to go to the left side menu where it says object list. There we go. Now, if you've met, if you have used uh, 3D models before, you've probably seen this before. You've seen these, these, you know, these options before. So over here, we got our, at the at the bottom we have our two our two objects. So we get the small female body type, and we have the staff low poly, right? And what we're gonna do to unite to be able to use the staff with the three D model, we're going to so you're gonna like select the small female body or your your three D character three D character model. And then you're gonna you're gonna go on the object, which is the staff. And you're gonna hold and drag it up over. Oh, you saw that? You saw that? Right. So now the staff is part of the female 3D model. And now what we're gonna do? Now you're gonna click on the object. We're gonna click. Well, in this case, we're gonna click on the staff. And then a little option appears at the bottom, which it says attachment point. And uh, what this does is like it helps you attach the item to the uh, person. So we're gonna look at the drop down. So where do we want the staff, right? Where do we want the staff? We want it on the left hand in this case, right? On the left hand. So here it has a list of body parts: head, torso, hips, uh, right upper arm, uh, left forearm, right hand, left hand, right, all of that stuff. Left cow, right foot. So we're gonna choose the left hand. And you see over here, let me close this. 
you see over here that this the uh, the staff kind of went from the being on the right side away from the character now over to the character but we got to do a couple of things here because the staff is a little too long and we're gonna go ahead and change this I'm gonna go over to the tool property object again right and here you're going to go to the transform option and you're, what we're going to do we're going to decrease it so we go to the x or you can use the bar and we're going to start decreasing the size hold on there we go so now it's changing size hold on now it's changing size we're going to increase this size a little bit All right, so there we go. All right, so as you can see, it is on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. It is on. Okay, so if we're looking at it from this point, hold on. It. <laughs> so you see that? Like it's like going through her wrist. So we're gonna fix that right now. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the object, and you can control it with this uh, here we go and if you go back to this layer you can see that it is in the hand it's like going through the hand so uh, you see clip studio is not so advanced where like you have the 3d models just automatically grabbing really this is just for just so that we can get the pose right so she, what she's doing here she's like she just has she's just holding on to the staff right that's really what she's doing um, let me see how the pose looks again. So the step has to be a little bit, um, a little bit tilting to the right. And I am going to, all right, so here we go. So we're going to use the, um, okay, there we go. And then we're going to bring it down. Wait, what's that? What did I just Gonna bring this down. Oh, wait, how come? What is it doing? I'm trying to bring this damn thing down. Hold on. I'm okay, so now what I'm doing, I'm increasing the size. Hold on. Just a second, guys. We're gonna get through this. Okay, here we go. I wanted to the, go all the way down to the floor. There we go. And now we're just going to... Uh, perfect. There we freaking go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, wow. So we actually... Okay, so she's actually holding the staff. And it's in a good pose. All right, so we're going to go back to the camera. We're going to move the camera around. And we're going to move it around, move it around. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and decrease the opacity on these objects, right? We can decrease the opacity and then we can start drawing. We can start um, drawing some characters, right? So we can start tracing. And over here, you can like draw over the hand go over the hand right so something like this right, right. and then uh, we can go ahead and uh, th and this is the part where I say you still have to know anatomy because yeah you you know we uh, we got this right but like you still have to know how to like where to add the fingers right see see what I'm doing here like I'm still using you know, anatom anatomical logic here. All right, so then... There we freaking go. All right, so this is perfect. All right, so I hope this was helpful. I've been messing around with 3D, with 3D objects, and uh, if you do like concept art, this is actually really good because it helps you save a lot of time. Now, again, this is no replacement. As you can see, the Clip Studio 3D models, they're not, exact, they're not always accurate, like the head maybe, but then, you know, uh, I noticed that in the neck area, sometimes, you know, it's not always, like, 100% accurate. 
right? So you have to, you still have to use your anatomical logic to fix that. Go ahead and uh, fix that, right? And then put the collarbone here, right? Right. So make sure you always. Um, you always use your anatomical logic to fix the characters they're not going to be perfect you still have work to do and uh, yeah that's going to be it for this video i hope this was helpful i hope this uh will help you use clip studio a lot better and if you guys have any questions make sure to leave it in the comment section below and uh, that's going to be it if you like this video make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the uh, notification bell for future notifications be sure to share this video for the people that need it. Make sure to uh, comment below, like it. And I'll see you guys in the next art video. It's your boy Andy Arts. Godspeed.